It's okay. Well, now. Okay, so it's okay. Oh, well, let me start sharing my screen. Teacher, look up. Okay. Yeah, it's almost Christmas. Of course, it's almost Christmas, and I'm really happy because of this. So, near Christmas, and I'm really happy. But I don't know. I want, I want what present? You want what? Present? I, I I want present, but I don't know what I want. Oh, you don't know what you, for example, it can be a puppet, maybe a book, maybe some candies, or maybe <laughs> toys. So what do you want to have? Mm, I don't know. You don't know, but you need to wait. Just wait for it. Oh, I know. Oh, what? Secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Secret. Of course, of course. You need to keep your secret and wait for it. I will write a letter for Santa. Oh, that's great. You're doing the best. Okay, well, let me share my screen, my dear girl. Okay, are you ready to listen and read to this poem? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so wait a moment. Poem, poem, okay. Well, and this one, number 20, oh, 39. Okay, so let me check it. 39. Let's listen. Track 39. The straw. 1888 by Drew Lamb. A simple sipping instrument sprung from Marvin Stone's imagination. Paper strips wound round his pencil, glued together. Poof! A new invention. Eventually sealed with wax. Preventing leaks, swilling spirals, leading lemonade to puckered lips. Castle building, dreaming, pure play. One person wondering on any old day. What might you invent today? Oh, so tell me what's the invention? What's the invention? A simple stripping instrument. Of course, simple stripping instrument. Wow, okay. So imagine how can we make it? Okay, do you know how to make it? Straw. For example, straw. Mm. You know this and of course, it comes in we, we drink. Of course, of course, something that so you can actually something like pucker your lips like this, and you can drink. Oh, you I know can, how to do. Of course, you know. Of course, you know. That, okay. Mm, but that, I, think, I think that's really. I think that's really simple. What do you think? Do you agree? Mm, I think it's easy because I said my mom and my dad buy for me, so I can. Yeah. Of course, of course. And look, a simple sipping instrument. Sipping instruments sprung from. Okay, sprung. So it means flexible it's really flexible you can shake it you can form it okay so you can change its shape marvin stones marvin stones okay of course this is a modern modern drinking straw it's really modern new imagination 
something you know like you're thinking something that you have in your mind okay well and paper paper what paper say read the spray paper spring wound round his pencil glued together poof a new invention eventually sleep with wax preventing leaks swelling spring yeah very good sir to of course to Puckered lips, they're like this. Puckered lips, okay. So, paper strips wound round his pencil, as you can see, like this, and glued together using stick, maybe something like glue stick, okay. Poof, a new invention. Sealed with wax and preventing leaks, so it doesn't leak. Swilling spiral leading lemonade to puckered lips. So that's will be really easy. So you can make it using your pencil and maybe some paper strips. That's really easy to make it. Yeah? Yes. Well, okay. Hannah, do you know what a container is? Um. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, container is something like, for example, a glass, a suitcase, a bag that you can put some things in it. For example, you can pour water in the glass. So glass is container. You can put your clothes in your suitcase. So this is container. You can put your books into your bag so this is a container you can put your pen and pencils in pencil case so it's container so we call all of them container it means the things that you can put something in okay okay well look at these photos okay and and do you prefer just for, let me ask you a question do you prefer to drink lemonade through a straw or from the glass yes which one yes is yes. um uh, glass oh you'd rather glass okay and now tell me do you think a glass is a kind of container yes Okay, very good. And what is a container? Is I think something we make. No, it's something, a thing that you put other things inside. For example, your bag is a container, glass is container, or a suitcase is container, pencil case is container. Okay, so this is a thing that you put other things inside. Get it? Okay. Well, let's have a look at these words and the pictures and let's match them. Okay, which one is suitcase? A. Okay, you think it's A. And which one is paper bag? B. Okay, which one is backpack? Easy, C. Very good. Which one is a cup? A cup is D. D, of course. Which Teacher, one can is? You read me? Yeah, of course. Welcome back. Okay, so which one, which one is a glass? It's E. Okay, and a pencil case? 
tassel case is F. Okay, which one is a purse? What is a purse? Purse, this one. Okay, something. It's something like a small yeah. wallet, of course, small bag or wallet that you can put your money inside. Okay, which one is lunchbox? H. Which one is wardrobe? I. Very good. Which one is cupboard? J. Which one is carpet? H. Very good. And which S one is bin? Okay. May I ask you to read these words from the beginning? A suitcase is A. A paper bag is B. A backpack is C. A cup is D. A glass is E. A pencil case is F. A purse is G. A lunchbox is H. A wardrobe is I. A cupboard is J. A car boot is K. And a bin is L. Okay, and which one is the biggest container, you think? I thought it's, um, no, I think it's hmm, K. Okay, so uh, car boot. Yes. Yeah, of course. And which is the smallest? I think it's F. F, so this one? Yes. Yeah, can be maybe, of course. And which ones do you have in your house? Um, I have. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. A, I, okay. J, so, K, L. I have all so this, Yeah, you have all them. Okay. Ah, of course, you have a container. So it's a kind of container that you're drinking water from. So, of course, it's a container. You can pour water inside. Wow, great. Okay, Hannah, may I ask you to make some sentences using these words? For example, suitcase. Mm. Mm. I use my suitcase to put my clothes inside. Oh, very good. And for example, a backpack. I love my backpack because it travel me no it travel with me everywhere i think so <laughs> of yes, course everywhere i wear i wear my backpack yeah of course it travels with you everywhere of course okay and a cup hmm the cup hmm. put water inside uh maybe coffee oh coffee yes tea or coffee yeah mm -hmm. so and tell me about a pencil case a pencil case I put my pencil pen eraser um something I write inside my pencil case very good inside your pencil case okay how about car boot and Mm, I put my suitcase in the car book. Very good. And a bin? I put dress in the bin. Very good. And lunchbox? I put my lunch inside the lunchbox. Wow, great. Very good. And last one, wardrobe? I put my... Uh, wardrobe, clothes, yeah. of course, of course. Okay, now look at the pictures. Would you like to live in this house? Okay, look. So, this is a picture, and this is entrance, and of course, wow, look at this picture. Do you want to leave? Yes, oh, of course. Why? Why you like to leave there? Because it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Of course it is. Okay, so are you ready to read and listen? Yes, I'm ready. 
Of course you are. Okay, so let me play the audio. Jack, dream home. Okay, just before we start, let me ask you a question. Uh, what is your dream home, Hannah? What is dream home? Yeah, something that you really like to have. You know, a home that you really like to live in. I want to live in a home. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Okay, tell me a big house or no, small one. A big house. Oh, with garden or without garden? Garden. Wow, great. Okay, how many bedrooms do you want to have? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, so tell me many or no, maybe one or two bedrooms. Many. Oh, many, of course. So how many bathrooms do you want to have? Many, too. Oh, so it should be a really, really big house. Okay, do you want to, yeah, do you want to have lots of flowers in your garden? Lots, lots of flowers. Yeah, good for you. Of course, it should be really beautiful. So let's read and listen about Jack's dream home. Track 40. Jack's dream home. Extracts from If I Built a House by Chris Van Dusen. Jack in the backyard said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen-o-mat. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space-age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. And here is my bedroom, way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed and a tower, now that's something new. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall. It's empty, except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground. Then flap like a bird and fly all around. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. Oh, it's like a poem. So let's talk about it. Okay, so Jack in the backyard. Okay, what is backyard? Do you know? No. Okay, so we can have a yard in front of our house or maybe in the back of our home so if our yard something like a small garden okay it's yard small garden behind our home is backyard get it okay well said to his mother this house is okay but it's like any other it's boxy and boring Okay, what does it mean? Boxy? Nothing it's, is boring. Of course, boring, it means it's, it's not really exciting, you know. You know, I, It means I get tired, I get bored in it, you know. So it's boring, it's boxy, okay. So it's boxy, similar, similar to a square, something. This is boxy, let me show you. This is boxy. Yeah, this is boxy and boring. Boring means not exciting. Okay, what is this? Not exciting, tiring. 
and basically bland. Okay. Do you have any idea what it means? Mm, I'm not sure. You're not sure, so can you guess? What? What? Basically bland? It means, you know, it's something like really flat. You know, just flat. Nothing special in it. So it's bland, it's flat. Okay, it's nothing at all like the house I've planned. So it can be bland or flat. Okay, we'll start with the basic right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen, oh Matt. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean because it's done by Space Age robotic machine. Oh, Space Age means very modern. Very modern. This is Space Age. It means very modern, new. It makes all meals and food is delicious, really delicious. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. Yeah, so it does everything. And here is my bedroom, way up the sky. Can you see? It goes to the sky. On the top of a tower. Very, very, very tall building. And about 200 feet high. With glass all around. Just check out the view. View, something that I can see from the window. So, so when you can see lots of things, you have a great view. For example, when you open your window, you can see a street, flowers, garden. It's, it's, it's your view, something that you can see. A bed in a tower. Now, that's something new. Next comes my flying room. Oh, see how it's all. It's empty except for a switch on the wall so you can turn on and turn off. Hmm? Well, that's, yeah, just turn off the switch and you will float off the ground. Oh, then flap like a bird and fly around. Wow, do you want to have something like this? No one. Oh, so it's, yeah, so flap means wings, fly, using wings and flying. So you can fly like a bird. It means flap. Okay. And so why don't you want to have a bed like this? A bed that when you, for example, turn the switch on or off, you can fly. No, I don't want. Oh, of course, you know. You don't know why? No, I don't want because oh, of course. I want a bed. It's just like it's, this is a bed and this is the window. This is a window too. And this is a table and this is a chair I lie down. Oh, and cool. in here and in um, straight it has flower. Oh, oh. And in front of is the door. Yeah, of course, of course. So it can be really, really, really beautiful. Okay, so this is my racetrack room. Oh, can you see? So racetrack is something like facility built for racing of vehicles or something like that. So you have some room, some path to race. Okay. And step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with sure, okay, super fast go karts. Can you see super fast go karts that don't make a sound? They're really quiet. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. Wow, you have to admit, you have to accept. It's a wonderful room. 
Wow, it's really interesting. Okay, let me ask you some questions. What does Jack think of the house where he lives with his mother? It's boring and messy. Okay, so he thinks, why he thinks it's boring? Because I think he don't have anything to play. Of course, of course. And let me ask another question. What has he invented for the kitchen? It's a robot. Oh, very good. It's a robot. And what does it do? Um, it's do everything, I think. Of course, of course. So it can look, you can find. Okay, so it's a modern robot that can make all the meals and the food really delicious and it can wash and it can put away last dish yeah so what can it do um, it can um make all the meal and the food is delicious then it wash and put away everything like this of course, of course, so it can cook, it can wash, and it can make everything tidy. Okay, so it can put away every last dish. Okay, next question. How is the bathroom unusual? That is the bathroom. That is not a bathroom because this is a... Fish crack. Where, okay, what is racetrack? It, I think, is um, the way we race. Of course, very good. Okay, and you can fly and flip. Okay, and you can zip and zoom. Okay, zip and zoom. What, what does it mean, you know? In zip and zoom. Of course, it means you can, let me write here, you can move along very quickly. Of course, so it means, yeah, this is zip and zoom. Move along very quickly. Okay, and... What happens if you press the switch in flying room? Flying flap. room. Okay, what does it mean when you say we flap? Uh, we flap like a bird and fly all around. And what does it mean you flap like a bird? It's a thing we fly like this. Of course, of course. Of course, so you flap is something like you can you can use your wings like birds to fly. Of course, very good. And let me ask you another question. Sure. Yes, dear. How many days is Christmas? I think this is oh, it's too close. Maybe less than two weeks. It's oh, about two weeks. It's teacher, about two weeks. My teacher said in Friday, my uh, my class or my school can wear the can wear their clothes. They want to costumes. Wear. Oh, yes. Christmas costumes! That's really great. Okay, so what do you want to wear? Um, I want to wear. Mm, I don't know. Maybe Santa. Oh, so that's good. So maybe you, you can wear a really beautiful, like red, red clothes. I think it's good. It's not bad. It's really beautiful. Oh, that's great. So you have early Christmas. Yes. Okay, good. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm very when excited. You want, of course, excited. When you're talking about yourself, you say, I'm very excited. 
Okay, well, and let's keep going. So we read the story, okay, about Jack's favorite home and tell me which room do you like best? Which room? Flying room, kitchen, or maybe race? Room. What? I like flying room. Flying room. Okay, now it's your turn, Hannah. It's your turn to describe your dream home to me. Okay. What do you want to have in it? I want to have a bedroom. It has flower. And it has many windows. And this is a table here. And this is a chair I will lie down. And in the kitchen room, I want to have, um, oh, it's have a view to when, when I eat breakfast, I can, I can watch the view. Oh, you can, you can watch what, for example, garden or street, what can you see? Garden. Oh, so you, you want to have a garden view. Yeah. Of course, okay, very good. Hannah, look In at this kitchen. work. Yes, yes, dear. Kitchen room. Oh, oh. it's a oh, kitchen already. Uh, in my... Uh, Living room. I will have a sofa, and in front of is the television, and they have have a door, and I want to have a car. Oh wow! So you need parking as well because you have a car. And I want a garden and a view too. Of course. So when you, of course, so you need to have maybe very, very large windows to have a beautiful view, something like great view to the garden. But, but also, I have to work very hard so I can have lots of money. Of course, yes. Everyone needs to work very hard. Of course, yes. Because we need to earn money. Yeah. And so we need to work. Uh, yeah. Of course, of course, but one day you can make your wishes come true. If you work very hard to study, of course, you can make your wishes come true. Okay, Hannah, look at this word, delish. Of course, delish is not a real word. So what's a real word, do you think? Delicious. Of course, yes, much more, girl. Okay, well, now... Let's find the words in blue and match them with their meaning. Boring. Boring is uh, not interesting. Very good, not interesting. So let me oh, match them, of course. Space age. Space age. Item and mm. uh, very tall building. Very modern. No, very modern. Yeah, of course, space age robots. The crown it means a very, very modern robot. So it's space age. Okay, tower. Tower. Tower is very tall building. That's it, it's very good. Will you? View is, um, wait, what can you see? Wow, very good, of course, switch. Uh, switch, move your arm, or wings up and down, no. Something you press to make matching work. Very good, and flap. And this is machine, okay? It's not machine, okay? This is machine. So something you press to make a machine work. Okay, flap. Always up and down and zoom, move very quickly. Oh, move your arms or wings up and down and zoom means move very quickly. Oh, excellent. Very good. Okay, so let's check something. Uh, 
But hey, now we have some words that actually they pronounce, you know, in the same way. You know, for example, we say that actually uh, they are rhyming words. It means they are the same. For example, mother, other, plan, plan. Okay, they are the same. So we say them in the same way. So they're rhyming words. Now, let's find some rhyming words in the poem. Okay, let's check. For example, the beginning. Mm, the beginning. Can you find something? What do you mean? It means we say them, we say them in the same way. For example, mother, other, blam, plan. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. I will find many, many, many. Of course, you can find many, many, many. I'll find it. Where's that? So, um, so we can say these two. Oh, I say in the story. Of course, you need to find the story. Oh, but I just know out of the story. Okay, so this one, look, this one. Can you find something? Hmm. Like? Wait, wait. Don't and done. Okay, let me find. Let me find which one you say. Done and no, they are not. They, no, no, they are not rhyming words because, like, you say don't, done. They are not the same. But like, bat, mat, pat. They are the same. Bat, mat, pat. So we can say bat and mat. And mm, let me find. Let me find. Of course, you can find. So, machine delete. No, machine and the leash. No, look, machine, the leash. No, they're not the same. It's, the leash, it's, okay, the leash and dish, they're the same, can be rhyming words. Basic and the leash. The leash and dish, dish, the leash. Okay. Leash, leash. Okay, so, and, okay, let's find something here. View and new. View and new, of course. Very good. Yeah, very good. Okay, and here. Can you, can you find something here? And ah. Say again. No, no. Is and in sky and high. Okay, let me say something, Hannah. Let me explain. Do you know what a ri what rhyming words are? No. So let me say again. Rhyming words are words that have the same ending, ending sound, like we you, you. New, no, woo. Okay, so they're the same. Sky, I, high, I. So, so these rhyming words have the same ending, ending sound. Look, bat, at, mat, at. So bat and mat. Okay. okay. Or here, mother, er, other, er. Okay, brother, er. So. 
the rhyming words. Look at here. This part. Brown okay. and around. Which one? Brown and around. Of course. Very good. Ground and around. And there is something else here. Of course. Wall and young. Wall and tall, of course. Wall and tall, of course. Very good. Here, let's find something. Hmm. Let me find it by myself. Of course. Hmm. Um, let's see. Hmm. Um, hmm. it and admit. Oh, let me check. So, admit and it. It? Where is it? It features a racetrack that looks all around. Let, let, let me check. Let me start so, so sound like okay. Features. Looks around with go kart and you don't make, but we no, don't. It is it feature it. Okay, features. Oh no, admit. No, we can't find something like admit here. Okay, so let's find something else. What do you think about these two? Around sound. Around out and sound out. So they're the same. And inside. Very good, right? And inside, okay, so both of them are the same. And do we have any other one? Room and look. Um, no. no. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it, they're a bit different. So, well, so we learned some rhyming words. Okay, can you... Give me more examples of rhyming words. Do you know? Hmm. Sheep and sleep. Say again. Sheep and sleep. Very good. Definitely, yes, of course. Hannah, if you want to choose a color for your bedroom, what would it be? Um, I think it's yellow or blue. Yeah. Oh, of course, oh, yellow or, or red or yellow. Oh, for status, oh. I think they're really beautiful colors. So I think okay, okay, Hannah, do you remember that I asked you to write about something that you really want to invent? Do you remember? Yes. Did I, I you don't write? Know, I don't know what I want to invent. Okay, so you can write. If you don't know, you can write to me. For example, I don't know what to invent, but for example, you can talk about something that is really interesting to you. For example, uh, you can find, you think that bicycle, you can think, for example, some, I don't know, uh, some toys are interesting, so you can talk about them, you can write about them. So oh, you I, can know to, I, I know what I want to invent. Okay, what? But I don't know what is it. Um, I think I want to do something big. Just like if I have a present for you, and mm -hmm. I will have something long, and I will give it for you. Oh. Um, it's an electric thing. Oh, oh. So may I ask you to think about it, and then write it to me. And there is something else that I want you to do. Hannah, would you draw, would you draw, okay, a room, for example, you can choose a room in your house, okay, and would you draw it and take a photo and send it to me, so draw it and color it and then, okay, okay, don't forget, okay, I really want to see, it. okay, very good, and don't forget about drawing three inventions in the room, okay, for example, if you have a fan, it's invention. If you have a desk, it's no, not desk, but of course it can be 
okay oh so okay of course okay okay my dear hannah do you have any questions any issues related to this for dear something that you didn't understand no okay so don't forget about the studying yeah. our new lesson okay okay well okay my dear so have a great 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 time and see you next session okay teacher goodbye bye bye teacher bye my dear goodbye